Hello, we are discussing about GATE 1999 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first one mark question came in GATE 1999. The early effect in a bipolar junction transistor is caused by A. Fast turn on B. Fast turn off C. Large collector base reverse bias D. Large emitter base forward bias Correct option for this one is C. Large collector base reverse bias Early effect is also called as base width modulation which is a process of variation of base width actually it is effective base width as a result of increase in collector to base voltage when the transistor is operating in active region we will see the details now we know that one for a simple p-in junction if it is under forward bias the depletion layer width is very very small and if it is under reverse bias the depletion layer width is very large under reverse bias if you increase the reverse voltage at that time width gets wider and wider and if you reduce the reverse bias voltage it's going to be gets narrower if you are considering the BJT whenever it is acting in active region then the same behavior is going to be holds true for collector base junction because under active region collector base junction is reverse bias and emitter base junction is forward bias And this is going to be the diagram whenever the BJT is under active region. Look at this diagram. This is NPN transistor. This N and P are going to be this is emitter, this is base. This is going to be treated as emitter base junction and it is called as collector base junction. Emitter base junction is forward bias with the external voltage VBE and collector base junction is reverse bias with the help of external voltage VCE1. Since collector bias junction is reverse bias, whose depletion layer width is very large compared to forward bias emitter bias junction. That is what shown in the diagram. The width is very very small, this hash area, and here the width is very very large, since collector bias junction is reverse bias. If you increase the reverse bias voltage across collector to base junction, then this region, the depletion region is going to be gets more wider but whenever it is going with more wider at that time the depletion layer penetrates more into lightly doped site than heavily doped site with respect to constructional, constructional details we know that one base is lightly doped than collector so that the width of depletion region is going to be more penetrates into base than collector site so this is what the diagram look at this one if you are increasing the reverse bias voltage across collector bias junction now we are going with more arrows that is nothing but VCE2 is greater than VCE1 so as you are applying more reverse bias the width of depletion region across collector bias junction is gets wider whenever it is getting wider at that time it penetrates more into base side now compare this base thickness depletion region thickness and here this is very large so the difference in the pre this diagram and previous diagram is going to be treated as delta WF delta W effective so that is change in effective width of base previously this was the width now this width has been reduced so this is called as base width modulation base width modulation is a process of change in effective base width with increasing reverse bias of collector bias junction it is also called as early effect so the correct option is early effect in a bipolar junction transistor is caused by large collector base reverse voltage thank you